All right, let's start off here with the obvious question, which is what are you trying to do to sort of make this go smoother? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. Yeah. We're, um, we, we obviously talk to a lot of, a lot of our clients. Uh, we get our clients' feedback on how we can improve their supply chain. Everybody's in pain. I think everybody's frustrated. Um, and we go to them with solutions. So we can figure out different routings, uh, we can offer them more capacity, but we kind of tailor our needs or, or their needs around their, what they need. So, I mean, every customer is different, but we're finding solutions for our clients. What's your biggest pain point right now? Probably the biggest pain point is, well, it's twofold. It's getting the space out of Asia mm -hmm. um, and getting on the ship. I mean, you make a booking, it can take four weeks to get on the ship. Yeah. And then when it arrives obviously here, and it, not just LA, but Seattle, Savannah's having issues, getting it off the ship and getting it moving inland. So to answer your question, really it's the lead time. Mm -hmm. Normally it would be 20 days Shanghai to LA. We're experiencing 40 day lead times. And that's very difficult on but our why, why, uh, just to follow up on the, sure. why it's taking so long to just get on the container in Asia? Is it because not enough, that it's taking a while for the container to fill up and they don't want to run unless they're full? What else is the issue? The, the shipping lines, right now, obviously, they're, they're blanking a lot. They're trying to get their, their schedules back intact. Um, so we, you, might, you might get a booking confirmation for two weeks from now, but you might not actually load it for a month. Um, and our, our DSV office is in Asia. They fight with the carriers to get on the ships, mm -hmm. but it can take it can take three or four weeks to get on. And it's lack of equipment as well. We talk about how integrated the supply chain is. One thing goes wrong, basically everything goes wrong. What's the type of communication that you have with other sort of points down the supply chain line? Well, I think everything is in pain right now. Yeah. I mean, from origin all the way to call it Columbus, Ohio, uh -huh. you, you're you're experiencing pain at almost every junction, mm -hmm. getting from the terminal to the railhead then getting to Columbus and getting a truck. Every point literally has, it's all bottlenecks. And we hear that it's a labor shortage or we hear sure. there's a lack of chassis or there's a lack of equipment as you were just saying. This is something the administration has been looking at. Yes. And indeed, I think it was something that the manager here, uh, Marco Cardano was saying, it, they've been having these conversations since 2015 as well. Yes. They could see that some of the bottlenecks were going to be here. Yes. Is the administration doing enough? What would you wish for? Well, I mean, I, I would wish there'd be more collaboration. I, yeah. I think that you can't, it's not one piece of the business is having issues, it's all of it. It's the carrier, it's the terminals, it's truckers, it's lack of truckers, lack of chassis. Uh, you need to get everybody together and collaborate to try and improve it. You can't just pick on one, you can't, it's not the carrier's fault, it's not the terminal's fault, it's a little bit of everyone. Mm. There's also a sense that some people think that this can be weighted out, that a lot of the pressures that we're seeing on the supply chain, they're, they're temporary, they're a result of the sure. pandemic and two years from now, yeah. we're not gonna see as many ships floating around here or even the, as many ships needing to come in. Do you believe that or, or not so much do yeah. you believe it, but do you make changes to your business mm -hmm. based on the traffic that we're seeing now? We, yeah, we, yeah, a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, we, we are gonna change the way we do business with our providers. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to work with our carriers, our, our carrier partners, our truckers, to look for longer term commitments, two, three year agreements, okay. to bring some stability and predictability to our clients. And so we're really tailoring it again around our, what our clients' needs are, but we do think it's gonna last all of 2022. We, we, we're convinced, at least until October, November. This, this is gonna be a challenge for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna look two, three years down the road to see if we can go to our clients and give them a menu of products that gives them the stability they want. I'm a client of yours that happens to have a good that needs to be sold at Christmas. I call you up and I say, yeah. do you just say, you get it on an airplane? There is actually no hope right now. What, what are the innovations you're taking? We've only got about a minute. Uh, well, you can do air sea. You can, you can speed up the supply chain if you want. It, the, the issue is it's expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, you were seeing prices that are five to seven times what they were this time last year. Five to seven wow. times. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of these companies cannot afford it. Mm -hmm. um, so, we can get here by Christmas, but it's just what the price is. If that answers your question. So you bet that means that we end up as consumers, we end up paying a lot more. That's correct. Or not buying it at all. That's it's that's coming. Yeah.